welcome to the channel. About a year ago, I put out a video on Music Assistant that was very popular and well received by many. Well, Marseille van der Valt, the developer, is back and has improved on what is the most popular music aggregator in Home Assistant with Music Assistant version 2. In this video, we'll take you through what Music Assistant is, how to install, which is now even simpler than ever, how to configure Music Assistant to work with your speakers, how to link music and radio providers, and also how to navigate the user interface. So let's press play for those favorite playlists and dive on in. Now, if you've arrived on this video, then there is a high likelihood that you are already familiar with what Music Assistant does. And if so, use the timestamps or the pop-up above to jump over this section of the video. But if not, then Music Assistant is the best music aggregator for Home Assistant currently available. It allows you to play music from many popular music streaming services or radio providers, plus local sources such as your personal music collection that you have stored on local storage. Then to sync the playlist from these sources or create your own with the Music Assistant and to play the selected music or radio channels through the speakers connected to your network. These can be connected via AirPlay, Cast, DNLA or many other methods. So how do we install Music Assistant? Now as we are installing this as a Home Assistant add-on, you must be running a version of Home Assistant that can run add-ons. As such, this is Home Assistant OS or supervised. Although there is a way to run Music Assistant within a Docker container and link Home Assistant to it, but that's outside the scope of this video. In December 2023, I released a very popular video on how to install Music Assistant. Links in the pop-up above. This video is still relevant and can be used to install Music Assistant, but in this video, we'll show you an even simpler way. Press the Install Music Assistant add-on link in the description. Make sure that the IP address listed is your Home Assistant instance. Use the pencil to the right of the IP address to adjust if required. Press Open Link. Now press Install. Optionally toggle on the Start on Boot if required. It's good practice to toggle on the watchdog to restart the add-on if it crashes. And to be able to use Music Assistant, toggle on Show in Sidebar. Now press Start. You should see a green dot in the top right hand corner, signifying that Music Assistant is now running. Music Assistant will appear in the left hand navigation menu, but we can't start using it just yet. Now you would have noticed that a new notification has appeared. Press Notifications. A new device has been discovered. Press Check it out. This will take you to the integration page and show you that an integration for Music Assistant has been discovered. Press Configure. A window will be displayed asking you if you wish to add the Music Assistant server. Now the IP address might look a little strange as it doesn't conform with your local network address starting with 192 or 10, but that's because it's an internal network address used by Music Assistant. Press Submit. A success message will appear. Now press Finish. And you're done. That's Music Assistant set up. Now let's configure it. To configure Music Assistant, Press the Music Assistant in the left hand menu. Now we can't use Music Assistant yet as it has no sources for your music nor any speakers defined. So let's configure those now. Starting with sources, press the cog in the top right hand corner. The settings screen will be displayed. The screen is split into three sections. Add music providers, add player providers, and at the bottom, add plugin providers. Music providers are your music sources. Player providers are your speakers such as AirPlay, Chromecast, Sonos, Home Assistant Media Players. Note that Amazon speakers are not supported as yet. And plugin providers are components that extend Music Assistant functionality by connecting it to an external source or system. The only one that is currently available is Home Assistant itself. So let's install that first. Press Add Plugin Providers. Select Home Assistant. Now press Save. Now let's add our music provider. Press Add Music Provider. This will bring up a list of all music providers that are currently supported by Music Assistant. I'll be linking to YouTube Music for this demonstration, but you can select as required. After a few seconds, it will ask you to authenticate. Press Authenticate on YouTube Music. A new browser tab will open and a Google account link page with a code will appear. There is no need to copy the code. Press Continue. Select the account you wish to connect. Now press Allow to grant access. A success message will be displayed. 
Now navigate back to your Home Assistant tab. The authentication code will have already been populated. Press Save. YouTube Music will appear as a music provider that you can now play music from. Now if you want to add radio stations, you can do the same process. Press Add Music Provider. Select Radio Browser and press Save. Radio stations will now be available as a source within Music Assistant, which we'll walk through later in the video. If you'd like to add Plex, Jellyfin or even your locally stored music into Music Assistant, then check out the video in the pop-up above. Now let's set up our speakers that we can play music to. Press the Add Player Provider. This will bring up a list of available speakers that you can stream music to. Remember that Amazon Alexa does not support direct playback. The integration requires that the end device, which is the Alexa speaker in this case, supports play from URL functionality, which Alexa does not natively provide for music playback. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'll be playing through a Libertone Zip 2, which is an amazing portable battery powered speaker with rich deep bass and pure clear high tones. Links in the description. And we'll be linking using DNLA to connect. If you don't know what DNLA is, then I'll put a link in the description. DNLA is found on many speakers and allows for seamless instant connection with no configuration. But needless to say, you might not even realize your wireless speaker supports DNLA. And by adding this, it will appear as a speaker available to have music sent to it. So it's highly recommended to add this option. But you can add whatever speakers you have available. And now we are ready to listen to our music. So let's have a look at the user interface. Now we get to see the true power of Music Assistant. Press the Home button in the bottom left hand corner. The screen is basically split into three sections. The top section are your music selections, be they recently played, artists, album or playlists. With the playlists coming from your music sources or local Music Assistant. The middle section is the controls. First is the cover art, track, album and speaker selection. Then you get the track shuffle options, last track, play pause, next track and repeat options. To the right of the controls is a speaker icon that allows you to change the speaker selection as to where the music is playing. Here you can turn on or off a specific or multiple speakers and set individual volumes for each. Next is a play cue icon. Pressing this will bring up the currently queued tracks with a larger controls at the bottom of the screen. And finally you get a volume control for the speaker that is currently selected. In the bottom section you have the music assistant navigation buttons. The first is for the home screen which is where you will select and navigate your music selection to be tracks, albums, playlists that are local or from the music providers. Then there is a search button. This is where the power of music assistant comes into its own. Let's search for Taylor Swift. And no, I'm not a huge Taylor Swift fan, but my daughter is. Music Assistant will bring up the top results from your YouTube music, from your tracks, albums and playlists. But it will also search through radio stations and bring back the results. Let's add Taylor Swift to my Music Assistant library. Scroll down to the Artist section. Press the three dots to the right of Taylor Swift. And press Add to Library. Now let's do the same for an album, a playlist and a radio station. Next we have albums. These are albums that were added to Music Assistant Library and as such you can see the Taylor Swift album has appeared. Remember you can also favourite the album if you like and apply a filter for your favourites by pressing the heart on the top of the screen. Then you have playlists. These are both from Music Assistant and synced from your music provider into Music Assistant. Then comes the radio button. If you remember, we added the Taylor Swift radio station, so it will show up here ready to be selected. We'll get into the radio stations available in a minute, but if you know the streaming URL for your specific radio station, then you can add it here. Press the plus icon in the top right hand corner. Now I happen to know the streaming URL for my local radio station called Triple J. Paste your URL into the field provided. Optionally give it a custom name and a URL to the image if known and press save. The radio station is now available as a source to stream to your speakers. And finally the browse button. This will bring up a directory structure allowing for direct access to your music assistant and music provider libraries. But importantly it will also bring up a huge list of radio stations that are available. Simply select based on popularity, country or tags. 
Now, popularity and country are obvious, but I couldn't find any documentation as to what tags are. If you know, then please let us know in the comments below. So that's what Music Assistant is, installation, configuration of music providers and speakers, a comprehensive walkthrough of the user interface, along with how to link your favorite radio stations. I think you agree, it's an amazing add-on, and Marcel has done a great job. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped bring music to your home, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.